this video, I'll show a case study of how I used the Lidge script to import in a whole lot of data out of a, a CSV file that needed to be added into the CRM in multiple modules. That's for a training organization which has students. We needed to not only import the students, but also the courses they had enrolled in. And within those courses, there are also units of competency. The way that the CSV was structured, we set up with the student details for the first, say, up to column AQ, and then from this point onwards, it then has the data about what course and what units they had enrolled in. So it's not an easy format to import into the CRM. What I did instead, rather than, I guess what one way you could do it is that you could first import the students, and then you would export out of the CRM and get the the student ID out of the CRM and use VLOOKUP to match it with the existing data and then you could import the course. And then after you've done that, you could import the units of competency. But that feels pretty, well, error prone and quite difficult to do. Instead, what I've done, I've written some code which will import the CSV data. This is some JavaScript code and it transforms it to a certain extent where it gets all of the student data into one, one object there. And then it also provides the course data, the course enrollment data, and the unit enrollment data. It then sends that to the CRM. And here I've got a standalone custom function which will get the data first body. It gets the, the student data. And here we use Dilute Script because it's a lot easier, I find, to write code that interacts with the Zoho CRM API via Dilute rather than having to mess around with the JavaScript desk SDK. So here I'm using search records to find out whether there's already a student with that email address. And then if it finds one, then it will update the student. If it doesn't find one, then it will create a new one. Next thing it looks for will be a course with a matching course name. If it doesn't find one, it will make a new course. And in order to do that, it also needs to potentially create qualifications and units of competency. So it's all relatively similar that it uses search records to look and see whether there's an existing record. If there's not, it will create a new one. If there is, then either in this case, we don't need to update the unit of competence. We assume it's already correct, but for the student, we will update it. And then finally, after we have got the course ready, we can set up a course enrollment. We'll do the same thing here where we'll update the existing one or we'll create a new one. The key concepts to understand with a standalone custom function is that when you create it, you need to have a parameter called CRM API request. It's set up as a string, but it's actually a map for a key value collection. Within this variable, it will have properties including the IP address, the requester user agent, those type of things. We don't really care about that much, but we do care about the request body. Within the body, we're going to be sending, in this case, you can see the structure of it, the student data, the course data, course enrollment data, unit enrollment data. I find this to be quite an effective way of building APIs. The way that you turn it into an API is after you have created the standalone function. And just a refresher on that, to make one, you do new function, and then choose category standalone. After you have set it up, you then go here to REST API. And at that point, it'll ask you, normally this will be turned off, and you'll, you'll toggle that switch on. It'll then give you a URL, and you can use that within your JavaScript code or PHP or whatever server-side language you want to use to send data across.